Okay, as you see, I'm still transferring things down. But I want to talk a little bit about something called my 320 rule. Now, the 320 rule is pretty simple, but it's highly effective as toward keeping yourself from overworking your paintings, overworking the process, from killing work, everything. I mean, it's, it's kind of a cure-all. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a good example. Have you ever been working on a painting and you stop working on it, you think you've done really good, you, you walk away from it, and two days later you come back and you're going, what the hell? Because it all looks screwed up? Because, you know, you, you can't figure out what was going on, why it was happening? Well, one reason why is because you're so hyper-focused on the areas of, of the painting that when you did run out of a problem, you, you did one thing. I can fix it. So what do you do? You go in and you start doing, you start attempting exactly that. You start attempting to fix exactly the problem. The problem is you're so close to the problem, you're not allowing yourself the time to see it. Now where the 320 rule comes in, you spend three minutes working, whether it's a sketch, whether it's a painting, no matter what you're doing. Then you spend 20 minutes back from the painting studying it. You see, I want to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm kind of moving around a little bit. So I'm going to move you with me. And as you can see, I'm still on the coyote. I will be here for a little while. And so even this, I have to walk away. I have to walk away, re-inspect what I'm doing to make sure I'm getting all the little details I want. Same exact thing. Nothing is a speed process. If you go through it fast, imagine the mistakes you'll make because you're going through it too fast. Okay, so the three minutes is you want to sketch, draw, paint. That's it. Then what you want to do is you want to step back for at least 20 minutes. And that 20 minutes can be having a cup of coffee, can be anything you want, you can be walking around your house, doing other work. But the main thing is you want to get away from the work. So what you see, in essence, when you, you do come back to it, is <laughs> your mistakes, good points, bad points, everything. So you have a beginning spot. To, you're looking at it with fresh eyes. So you can look at it again and see where you need to go forward, where you need to retract, whatever else you need to do. Uh, what it doesn't allow you to do, it doesn't give you time to screw things up worse because you're obviously not working on it. So that is the reason for my 320 rule. And I've been using that for a lot of years, a lot of times, and it's actually saved students and artists a lot of money because what happens when you screw something up? you got all that time put in. And then all of a sudden you screw it up and guess what? Now you're frustrated. You want to kill something. You want to destroy something. You learn how to use a whole lot of new metaphors to, uh, <laughs> to describe the problems that you're doing. And so in the case of that, this it just is a good problem-solving skill to help you along the way of learning how to get things done, do it better, and not muck things up. So my suggestion would be to try it. You know, don't believe anything I'm saying. Everything I want you to do is by fact and also by experimentation, okay? That's how this process goes. The process does not allow for you not to experiment, not to try, and not to fail. If you, fa if you don't fail, then there's something wrong with the process and you're not doing it right. If you fail, then it gives you opportunities to learn. And we don't learn by successes. We learn by our failures. Always have, always will. So, let's recap. The, three, three, the 320 rule is what? Three minutes at the easel, working, doesn't matter what you're doing, 20 minutes back. If you get into your painting and you find that, wow, I'm not able to paint a lot, paint faster. Okay? And I'll give you a little secret. A painting is always finished at 50 feet. It's never finished at the easel. A lot of people think, think like, well, I'm done with this painting. Well, are you? Study it for a little while, and I guarantee you're always going to find something more to work on it. That's the reason why a painting is, as Da Vinci once put it, a painting is never truly finished. It's always a work in progress. You just have to pick specific areas of stopping. So when people buy it and they want to buy another work, they see your growth. That's what that is. Okay? They're always buying growth. They're, not, they're buying growth and consistency. Okay? And you can't get to being consistent unless you learn very specific rules early on. That separates the professionals from the boys. 
and the girls, and the men, and the women. And just so you know. So, yeah, I'm going to be at this for a while. That's my 320 rule. That's the only rule that's hard and fast. Hope you're enjoying my process. And, yes, it's a long, drawn-out one. No easy way around it. So, anyway, guys, you have a good one, and welcome to Art 101.